Okay, this time let's go over factoring a perfect square trinomial with leading coefficients greater than one. Okay, write this down. Factoring a perfect squared or just perfect square trinomial with leading coefficient greater than one. These are the harder types. Greater than one. That's the title in Alex homework. So here's the first example, 9y squared plus 48y plus 64. Um, sometimes you don't really recognize these are perfect squares, but let's say that a title of a homework, I mean, the homework topic is titled to be the perfect square, so that I'm looking for perfect squares. So this is what I'm checking. The first term. The first term is 9y squared, right? Um, you notice how I can make 9y squared by 3y times 3y, right? 3y times 3y is 9y squared. So yes, that's good. The second, the last term, let's go look at the last term, which is 64. You can skip the middle one, okay, because we're going to add these pieces to get the middle one. Um, if you look at 64, is in 8 times 8, 64. So, yeah, it is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just go ahead and factor this and maybe check it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and factor this as 3y and 3y in both first position. You know what? Let me go ahead and color code these. I used the 3y. I wrote the 3y using green pen. So let me write down 3y, 3y here. Okay, now the 68 plus 8 and plus 8. So I wrote this down. I'm going to go ahead and kind of quickly check this um, by foiling it out, okay? Or maybe just the middle terms, okay? If you add these two, if I multiply those outer and inner, 3y times 8 isn't that 24y? And if I multiply these two in the middle, 8 times 3y isn't that 24y? And if you add 24y plus 24y, they add up to 48y, and that was the middle term of our problem. So I think we got it. This is the correct answer. Okay, this is the correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this factor as 3y plus 8 getting raised to the second power. So this is how you guys can solve this problems. Okay? All right, maybe one more. Another problem I have is 25w squared minus 30w plus 9. Okay, because I, I know this is going to be that perfect square trinomial, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what multiplies to be 25w. 5w times 5w, isn't that 25w? Yeah, 25w squared, so you have to take square root. Now, look at the very last term. I can make positive 9 by doing negative 9, a negative 3 times negative 3. And if you're like, why are you using negative 3? Well, look, I noticed that the middle term is negative. So we're going to have to have a negative term. Okay, so that's why I put it. But I don't know if this is going to be right. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my factor. And then I will try to multiply it out to see if it's true. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. In the first position, I'm going to write down though 5w and 5w. And they will multiply to give me 25w squared. In the second position, let me go ahead and put the minus 3 and minus 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So they multiply to give me the very last term. So what I now need to check is the middle terms. Okay, So check the middle term. I will multiply the inner, these two, and the outer. And let's see. If I multiply those two, first, 5w times negative 3 is negative 15w. And if I'm looking at the two inner terms, negative 3 times 5w, isn't that negative 15w? And if I add negative 15w plus another negative 15w, they will add up to negative 30w. 
which matches that term right there. So I think we got it. So our final answer is 5w minus 3 cubed. So that is how you guys can factor a perfect square trinomial with the leading coefficient greater than 1.